Okay, hopefully you can see that. That is the um, adapter for the uh, oil pressure sensor. And uh, the sensor is already on there. I already got that bolted on there. How this would go is uh, that's the uh, oil filter, as you can as you can see. And which end is it? Let's see if I can get this. Um, okay, this side is a side. I hope you can see that with the gasket. So this would face that way, you know, uh, towards the engine, and. Uh, the filter would slide through there like that and if you can see on this side with the threads that would you would thread into uh, the typical spot for that that the uh, oil filter goes onto on the engine but if you can see there's um, three more spots that you could possibly put your uh, temperature sensor on so I gotta plug those with these plugs that, that came with the kit, with the uh, temperature sensor kit, uh, gauge and all that. So I'm gonna, I just gotta put that, uh, silicone tape, if that's what it's called. And then, uh, bolt them on. Should make change for that. Let's see how this, as you guys know, this will keep, uh, keep it oil from seeping through, which would be bad. So, you can see that. Use your handy Allen I guess, you know, if anything else, want to be careful because it looks like these may have aluminum and you don't want to strip them and destroy them. So, just get them on there. Snug. I'll start working on the rest of those plugs. Alright, there we go. Better to drop a tape than the actual plug. Watch, I would not like I'll drop the plug. Last one. Okay, that should be good. Uh, I just gotta insert this in the uh, oil filter on their spots, and uh, that should be good to go. I won't record that process because it's uh, you know there's almost no room to have this tripod and, and uh, to be able to catch all the all the footage. So I'll just insert it and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. I'll be back. 
Okay, I just want to add this real quick because uh, so it doesn't get confusing. Okay. Once you got your uh, adapter, you as you hope you can see the. I forget the size it actually goes on there. I'll have to refine it, but so you want to get this on first and clamp it on with your uh, socket. Yeah, it'll be best to use a socket and uh, turn it, tighten it snug on, on its spot, and then get your uh, then bolt on the uh, the oil filter because if you have the oil filter already on here, then it'll be damn near impossible to uh, you know. Um, have everything snug plus you also also pointing out you also already want to have your uh, harness connected for this because it's kind of tough to uh, it's a tight spot because uh, right in where, where uh, your oil filter goes where all this will go uh, right above them is where the um, uh, the intake manifold and uh, your radiator hoses are at so you, you'll already want to have your um, well, Harness connected to this because it'll be it's a tight fit. and It'll be real tough to get to it. So I'll be right back Okay, Hopefully You can see that From this angle, uh, trying to point at it. There's the uh, harness with the sensor and the bracket already uh, installed, and I already got the uh, the wiring harness all wrapped up and protected. And I fed it. Thankfully, I didn't have to drill anything. I used this, um, hopefully, you can see this hose right here. Um, or that area. That's where I fed, uh, fed the line through, the wiring harness through. So that was relatively easy. I'm just glad that the uh, hole was there. And uh, fed it through. Uh, from here <clears throat> and uh, the only the main issue that I see I'm ha gonna have is uh, this pot it's way bigger than um, the spot that it's supposed to go on which is here <clears throat> hopefully you can see how why that is um, so I'm gonna have to do some cutting and modifying to get the the pot itself on there and and you know looking decent like it belongs that that's gonna be the, the most difficult part I got this uh, <clears throat> handheld riveter with uh, the kit we came with the plastic rivets and I am currently using using them to uh, attach the uh, the glow ship gauge pod to the uh, this little door trim that goes up here <clears throat> I'll try to uh, get this in frame uh, it might be a little tough to use it with one hand uh, yeah it'll be damn near impossible to use use it with one hand and keep this all together so and use this thing properly but I will try So what you want to do is get this the rivet slide it into the hole. I did have to make the holes a little bit bigger. Slider it in there. And you should be able to well, it's tough to see. Let's see it there at the bottom. 
I'm going to have to set this down for a second and then do this properly because there's no way I can do it with one hand. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got those two rivets on. As long as it stays stable, I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, the uh, the pot itself, I did have to shave or cut off quite a bit because it's uh, this this trim is way way thinner or narrower than uh, than the pod the pod itself. You can see how much more it's hanging. It's uh, about oh, damn near an inch. And it was even further out than that. So probably maybe an inch and a half, maybe more in total that it was hanging out past uh, past the end of the, or the edge of the, this tr the door trim. But um, yeah, this rivet gun's not too bad. Uh, or riveter, handheld riveter, how am I gonna actually Okay, so as far as the uh, wiring harness for the uh, glow ship gauges, um, I also got these, uh, man, I can't recall what they're called, uh, these little extender uh, type gadgets uh, that let you uh, splice into more and more uh, your, the wiring harness itself to your fuse box. I forget what it's called. Uh, Either it came with the kit or I ordered it. I don't recall, but uh, it comes in really handy. So, since both gauges essentially have the same uh, wiring diagram and colors, I spliced them together. The orange wires, sorry, I keep uh, going out of focus, seems to be a habit. But the orange wires, I'm trying to recall because it's been a while since I did this. Um, what can I not remember? Uh, I think, I believe the orange wires are what would typically go to your, uh, your dimmer. But the instructions said not to, uh, not to connect them to the dimmer itself. To, to the, you know, to the connection behind, behind this. It said not to go there because it would cause a little... Uh, chaos with the with the gauges um, I said the best place to connect them to I believe this spot this fuse is for uh, your headlights I believe I'm almost positive it's been a while since I did this so but I'm almost positive this one's for the uh, for your headlights and the other two wires the white wire Sorry, I'll keep doing that again. The white wire typically would go to your to your headlights, and the red one would go to uh, your power source. You know, when you turn your ignition on or your accessories, uh, your gauges will light up and you get uh, they'll get power as soon as you turn your key. Uh, those you can splice them together and and run them through the same uh, fuse, which is what I did here and. The fuse I ran into, or that they're essentially the spot they're connected to, is uh, one for the radio. And I use these uh, crimps to get all these, you know, sorry, to keep doing that. So I use these crimps to connect them all together and, you know, try to keep them somewhat uh, organized. And the ground, I ended up uh, pulling this panel out it's held by one screw and then you gotta unbolt this screw as well from the uh, door trim I guess is what this is called and it'll let you pull this panel out and behind this panel there's a spot where there's a, a stock ground and I just used that same spot to uh, to connect the grounds from each of the gauges and just, you know, connected them all there. And uh, hopefully that makes sense. It's not too difficult. Uh, 
And if I didn't I've already mentioned it, I, I ran uh, the gauges or the wiring harness. It's um, the wiring just ran through here. It was really the only spot that I could uh, run them through where they wouldn't be in the way, since all the wires are kind of sort of together and they connect to the uh, gauges themselves right here. I mean, they're hidden, but still they're. And I use this loom to as added for the, for the production. If I hadn't had the loom, every time I opened and closed the door, it would have just rubbed against the wires, and eventually they would have broken. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it as far as that goes. And you know, hopefully that makes sense. And uh, I'll see you.